What's going on Cold Water Nation? It's Jeff, and welcome back to another fly tying tutorial. Today, I'll be showing you how I like to tie a caddis emerger. Besides mayflies, caddis flies are probably the second most important insect in any trout's diet. No matter where you go in the world, having flies to represent all stages of a caddis fly's life cycle is always a good idea. So if you missed my previous video on the caddis nymph, I'll leave a card in the upper corner and a link down in the description so you can check out that video as well. Now getting back to the caddis mergers, caddis mergers are a largely artistic fly pattern with hundreds of variations ranging from simple CDC emergers to the literal holy grail. All versions of the caddis emerger will catch fish. It actually comes down to presentation of the fly more than the pattern itself since caddis mergers are typically small between 14 and 16 or unbearably tiny like 20 or 22. So trout typically get less fussy so long as the fly looks buggy enough and is roughly the right color to what is hatching in the day. But without further ado, let's head over to the bench and get started on tying a caddis emerger. Yeah. There he goes. Oh my god, look at that! Look at that toad! The squirmy worm is an effective and very deadly fly. What's up guys, my name is Brian, and I'm Jeff, and you're watching Empire Coldwater. Let's, Let's rip, rip some lips. lips. This video is brought to you in part by Upstate Excursions, and by Black Dog Outdoor Sports. We will begin by putting a size 16 clink hammer hook into my vise before starting my 8 dot olive thread at the eye of the hook. Then I'll snip off the tag end of my thread. Next, I will take wraps into the bend of the hook before taking a small pinch of Zelon material to tie in as the tail of a fly. This is to look like the shuck of the larvae in which the adult caddis is emerging from. You can also tie this pattern without the Zelon shuck, but I think it looks better with a shuck rather than without one. Once the Zelon is secured to the hook, it's time to wax the thread before creating a tight dubbing noodle with some olive nymph dubbing. Once the dubbing noodle is prepared, I'll take wraps up to the midsection of the hook before taking a few wraps to make sure everything is tied in and secure. Now I will grab my synthetic post material and snip off a portion to be about the size of the hook shank. Then I will take a pinch wrap to secure the synthetic post material to the shank before taking additional tight wraps to cover up the cut ends of the post material. With the post material secured as the emerging wings of the caddis fly, I will now take wraps behind and around the posting material to hold the material in a more vertical position. You could leave the posted material flat to the body, but since I like my flies to play double duty, the vertical posted wing could also pass as a small mayfly or emerging dun depending on the season. With the wing now posted, it's time again to grab some dubbing wax and wax my thread. This time I will take some pale yellow dry dubbing and create a tight dubbing noodle. Then I will take wraps starting where the olive nymph dubbing left off and wrap up until I reach the wing. Once there, I will take a wrap or two around the posted wing before continuing on towards the head of the fly. There really is no exact science to fly tying, so sometimes you spend too much dubbing onto your thread, but other times, like with this fly, I had to spend a little extra pale yellow dry dubbing onto my thread to complete my emerging body section. Take it from me, practice makes perfect, but a perfect fly may never catch a fish. With the pale yellow dubbing wraps all completed, I will take wraps to cover up any loose ends as well as secure any wraps just behind the eye of the fly before taking my whip finishing tool and putting a double whip finish on the fly.
and then giving it a dab of head cement to add strength and durability. And that is one completed Caddis Emerger. Let me know what you think of the pattern in the comments down below, and don't forget to like and subscribe so you never miss our newest video. That's all for now. Die lines, everybody.